Hey, hey guys, that was really good. Uh, a sound. fun show. Now, we usually jump in and we do live look He's got a bunch of games. We're going to get right. to that in a second. But we have our Hall of Fame buddy here tonight, Pedro Martinez. Yes. Back hanging out with us. And Love we're going to jump right in with a killer demo for the ages. Why? Because we have a prop. Manny, check that out over there. Check this out. Harold, what in the world is that home plate? Well, the biggest thing is this is a prop. So I was thinking about this this morning. It's a dummy. All right. I get it. I know it's not real. So we've been talking about players getting hit okay. constantly above the shoulders in the head. And we're not going to show Pedro drilling everybody. We know he could do that. But what you may not know is when young Pedro Martinez was breaking in, he learned how to pitch inside. So I said, Pedro, people can't pitch inside. What do we need to do? So we're getting ready to walk you through this. So Pedro, explain to them why this is set up the way it is. Well, this is set up that way. Because sometimes you just have to uh, uh, pretty much have a guide, have a guide for, for, uh, for, uh, to, to pitch inside. And if you just look at the entire picture and you look at the entire player right here, yep. you probably have too much in your, in your eyesight. What you have to do is limit the area that you look at. So what I would do is look below the elbows and in between the home plate and the body, to guide my fastball through there. Hey, Greg, so bring yeah. me a catcher's glove real you quick, go, okay? So a lot of people, Pedro, think you're looking at the glove. That's not what you were doing, right? No. So oh. if I put the mask on, we got a little different type of mask. Where were you looking on the catcher? Where did you want me at and what was your target? I wanted you actually in that specific area, and I was looking at your ear flap right here. Somewhere. Right here, because that will allow me to be high enough so that it wasn't in the strike zone. Here in the strike zone, it's hittable. But I wanted to make a statement with that pitch. So and I wanted and it. And I'm not standing up here like this. No, no. You want me down here? I wanted you there, and I was going to try to shoot that ball through your ear flap in between this line and the, and the hitter. And so this is an imaginary line, but we put tape here for the demonstration. Go ahead, Pedro. We got some balls here. Go oh, ahead, yeah. throw and see if I can catch this. Greg, isn't this better than you being here? Oh, totally. All right. Uh, see, that's a perfect target. A little bit higher. Little there higher? Uh, uh, there right. we go. That's what I will probably try to shoot that ball. Boom. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that's, that's literally what could happen if you don't move back. But if we have a real hitter there and the ball is... A real hitter you, will get out of the way of that one. They will get, they will get out of the way. But if you Ooh, don't... Oh, very nice. If you don't... You make a statement with that pitch. Uh -huh. That's what you do. But there, you hit about it right there where I just hit the, 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 the dummy, and they wouldn't mind it. Okay. They wouldn't get upset. Now, when you throw the ball above the, the, the shoulders, that's when they get upset. All right, there it is. That's a lot of movement it? for you, Harold. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So here's the thing, guys. As Pedro's doing this, go ahead. You can keep throwing. I'll tell everybody at home. This is an actual drill that he did when you were with who? Expos or with? With the Expos. With the Expos. I, I ran into a lot of trouble because I didn't know how to command that. So I had to learn before I was killed on the mound. And so what they did <laughs> was they put a dummy in here like this, and Pedro actually threw bullpen with a dummy. Yes, with I did. With a real baseball from 60 feet, 6 inches, 95, 100, right here. And he worked on pitching inside. And so this is why I started thinking about it. Well, to be fair, to put a Yankee pinstripe jersey on the dummy, Pedro's going to drill that dummy. <laughs> <to do> that. <laughs> but see, none of them above the shoulder. And that's the most important thing. Okay. And the critical thing to do is that you keep that ball in there. And they, they're not going to they're not going to fight you for that. And that so, Pedro, so good, as Pedro. we finish this off, explain why it's so important to get this pitch to get this pitch. Well, because once you make a statement in the inner part of the plate and you keep them aware that you're going to go in there, sooner or later, they're going to open up the, the outside part of the plate. And I was a sharp shooter when it came to placing those so fastballs. he's getting this, now all of a sudden, yeah, look now how you're a little bit intimidated. For and Pedro I will go, to throw the ball, boom. boom. <laughs> all right. And all excellent. day. Really good, guys. All day long. Clearly. Pitching Boom. inside, Harold's out wearing a cup, so we got to watch out. Yeah, that's why I'm um, knocking this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, boom, forget catching it. Uh, looks like Robbie Ray has ran uh, himself into a jam here.